Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you another interesting attacking game played by the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. His opponent is international master Domingo Ramos and the game was played in 1991 at Bundesliga. At the time Tal's daughter Jana was studying in Köln and Tal was spending a lot of time in Germany. Despite his poor health, he was actively competing at tournaments and this game is from one of those events. In this game Tal had white pieces and he opened up with e4 to which Ramos answered with Sicilian defense. As you know, most of Tal's wonderful attacking games happen in this opening and that's due to the character of this opening, you know. Sicilian usually leads to double-edged sharp positions, neither variation is on the board. a4 white is preventing any possible queenside advance and then white is going for this classical setup, is putting his bishops on e2, e3 and is castling kingside. And then we have f4, of course all this is a standard stuff seen many times. Knight takes d4, with this move already black is deviating from the main theory. Castling kingside is the most popular move, but in the game we see the exchange of knights on d4. e5, queen d3. He takes f4 and in here Tal made an interesting decision and he recaptured with the rook. Seems like that bishop takes f4 is the move, which is actually Angie's first choice. In this case you will also put useful pressure on d6, but soon we will see that this rook takes f4 turns out to be a very interesting idea. After bishop e6 Tal played bishop d4 and this is what Tal had in mind. Later the bishop on the long diagonal is going to play a key role. d5 and thus we reached the critical position. You can pause the video and try to find Tal's next move. Ready? Uh, well right now the rook on f4 is under attack. And Stockfish actually suggests rook a f1, intensifying the pressure. But instead Tal made an exchange sacrifice. There it goes. Rook takes f6 and now let's see what's the idea hidden behind it. D takes e4. Instead of accepting the sacrifice straight away, black is capturing on e4, but this is a mistake after which white is gaining advantage. We will come back to this once I finish the main game and we will see what's the problem with it. Here Tal played knight takes e4, g takes f6, and there comes knight takes f6 check. Bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6. The rook is hanging and this king has no chance of castling. Rook g8 and the pawn on h7 also dropped. King f8 protecting the rook, this time we see queen h6 check. King e8, bishop f3, rook c8, c3. No need to hurry, this black king can escape nowhere and Tal will now intensify the pressure. Neutralizing the threat, there was a check, white covered the king, queen f5 and the pawn on b7 dropped. Rook c7, rook f1, finally the rook is also jumping into the game. Bishop goes back on f3, queen takes b2, queen h7. Rook g6, rook d1. White is already creating a devastating threat and overlooking it, black played queen c2. Black actually created rook takes g2 threat, but after queen h8 check, resigned. Now if king e7, then white can announce a mate in two. Bishop c5 check allows white to mate in two. But I prefer a queen sacrifice. How do you like these guys? And then after king takes d8, here comes bishop f6 check. And luckily as we have a bishop on the long diagonal, this checkmate becomes possible. There we have it. We can announce mate in 3 but with that queen sacrifice. A nice checkmate, right? And now I would rather suggest you to go back and Analyze the game with the help of an engine. So in here, instead of recapturing on f6, we see d takes e4, which is a mistake. The engine suggests bishop takes f6 and evaluates the position as equal. Castling queenside, queen f3, 
check king h1 bishop d7 uh, white has a very pleasant position with a pawn on d5 this can be a pretty interesting game instead uh, black played d takes e4 which is a losing move and tal quickly finished up his opponent in here keeping the dark squared bishop could allow black to put tougher resistance but even in this case there is no hope of surviving bishop g4 is coming and yeah again white prevails but this is what happened and soon black also lost the pawn on h7 queen h6 check king e8 bishop f3 and it's a little bit strange why black also allowed bishop takes b7 queen f5 well okay queen g5 looks better but black was trying to create a counterplay bishop f3 queen takes b2 queen h7 rook g6 rook d1 and yeah in here instead of queen c2 it was queen a3 which could allow black to prolong his resistance but again white is winning queen f8 queen e5 this king is very vulnerable you know and there is no way out bishop b6 yeah there is no way out if rook c8 then a beautiful bishop c6 can follow right queen h8 is the shortest winning move but this is also winning yeah and then if here then bishop c5 uh, well this is it dear chess lovers hope that you enjoyed the game and in the end a thematic chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning line for white as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section feel free to check out my early uploads as well we'll see you in my next video take care